You know, the story we brought you about the guy with a suspended license driving on the suspended license. And then there was another story that said, well, you know, his license was supposed to be restored. So he updated the story. And then there's another update. He goes to court. He gets arrested again because the judge says you never have had a license in your life, son. Now, at this point, damn it. Can somebody get this man an honorary license? This is get this is getting out of hand. All right. At first, it was like, hey, man, you made a mistake. You had a day in jail. All right. You know, you're driving on Zoom. We get it. Judge had to order you to, to, to go ahead and pack it up for today. But at this point, some other institutions, I believe, could have done better by this brother. Let me remind you of what happened. Here it is. Assistant Public Defender Natalie Kate for Mr. Harris, who should be present to Zoom. Mr. Harris, Hello. are you driving? Um, actually, I'm pulling into my doctor's office, actually. So so I'll just give me one second. I'm parking right now. Hey. You stationary? I'm pulling in right now at the second. Yes, I am. All right. What are we doing? Uh, Your Honor, we are respectfully requesting an adjournment in this matter, um, up possibly two to four weeks if the court would allow. So maybe I don't understand something. This is a driving while license suspended? That is correct, Your Honor. Um, and he was just driving. And he didn't have a license. Uh, is with the charges, Your Honor, yes. No, I'm looking at his yes. record. He doesn't have a license. He's suspended and he's just driving. That is correct, Your Honor. Uh, I don't even know why he would do that. So defendant's bond is revoked in this matter. Defendant is to turn himself into the Washtenaw County Jail by 6 p.m. today. Failure to turn himself in will result in a bench warrant with no bond. See, that was the time I would have said driving. No, sir, that's that background, new background app I'm trying. Looks like I'm driving. But he didn't. He told the truth. All right, he turned himself in. <laughs> he had to do the right thing here. Uh, so Judge Simpson ordered him to... Hey, you, you got to come back to the to the jail and go through this process again. So he did, all right. And now there's an update. He does what he's supposed to do. He gets out, all right. He gets an attorney. He goes to the court to handle the suspension issue, driving while suspended. And another revelation hits. Not only does the judge say, "Hey, this man has never had a license." ever. So the privilege to have a license is what the penalty was. It wasn't suspension in the traditional sense because he did not have one. And he had a current warrant for his arrest while at the courtroom, which means he probably should have used Zoom again. All right, here it is. Counsel, you probably didn't know this, and I wasn't sure where the prosecutor was going to be. He's got a warrant. For, no, I did not know. Yes, he has a warrant for his arrest. Uh, a bench warrant out of Allen Park. Allen Park. Mr. Allen. 24th District Court. Okay. The shocking thing about it is for a driving while license suspended that he didn't take care of. Okay. Well, like I said, he, so, he wants to handle. So what dedicated. it is, is that, and it's a valid warrant. I happen to be within their radius of pickup. Now, having said that, I don't know if they will pick him up. Okay. I will say that when he... What should have happened, I'm not going to go through and try to figure out whether it did happen. But when he was arrested 
when he turned himself in on my revocation of bond. Upon being released, he should have been apprised, warned and released to go take care of it. I don't know whether he was. I really don't care whether he was or not. All I know is that was back at mid-May and it hasn't been taken care of. And it's still valid. I was hoping, maybe, that somebody was going to try and take care of it because I'm sure if you had known, they would have been done. You see, now we're getting into institutional failure here, all right? So he has another situation. Obviously, if you are arrested again, contact with law enforcement, warrant comes up. These warrants, let, let's be clear, these are not warrants for violent crimes or anything like that. We're talking about driving. The man, the man gonna keep a car, he's gonna drive, all right? He's driving. He gets pulled over, he gets a ticket citation and possibly an arrest. So you have to deal with this. So the attorney representing him, um, she obviously did not do the background, all right? Which is pretty normative. You need to do that so you understand what's happening. To the judge's credit, Judge Simpson, right before that clip uh, played that I showed you, <laughs> the prosecutor said, Judge, I need to approach the bench and I'm gonna need your bailiff, okay? And the judge said, I already know. You see, the judge wasn't gonna say anything. I, I need you to hear me. Because he says, you know, I was, and he kind of stopped himself. He said, but you know, I didn't, you know, the prosecutor brought it up. And I thought that was pretty righteous of the judge because the judge is not there as the prosecutor. If the prosecutor missed it, they missed it. The judge wasn't going to bring it up, but the prosecutor did not, did not miss it. And thus it was part of the judicial record. There's more. Part of the reason I'm also doing this is because I think he was warned and released, didn't take care of it. And secondly, this has been out there for nine years. Well, I did not know about it, Your Honor. I, okay. Counsel, there is not a doubt in my mind that that's true. Yeah, I, I, no, you did not. I, 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 I go to the bank on that one in a minute because I know you want to take care of it. Yes. All right. It's going to be taken care of today. His All wife right. is here and yeah. it will be taken care of. So I will absolutely okay. call your office tomorrow to see what is, call the court to see the status of it. Oh, yeah. we're going to take care of this. All right. Okay, that's Very what good. we're going to do. We'll see you in August. I mean, the, the bailiff standing behind the man like he's about to run out the courtroom, you know? All right, uh, th this is just getting too much. Mr. Corey Harris, let's put up the picture full mass here. Um, I'm rooting for you, sir, and, and that somehow the universe is going to reward you greatly. You are a good man. You are a good man. I've read the report of how you're active in your community. You are a God-fearing man. You're active in your church. You are a husband. You are a good man. You, we got to get the license situated, but you're a good man. This does not determine your character. I promise you that, all right? So Corey Harris, the Michigan man who became an internet meme for attending a Zoom court hearing from behind the wheel without a license, according to the judicial record, has never actually owned a driver's license. So Harris, 44, spent two days in jail for the original incident. Then in an interview with WXYZ TV, he claimed he had, quote, no idea his license was still suspended during the now viral May 15th hearing. But the judge overseeing the case dropped the bombshell in a Wednesday court hearing. Harris has actually never owned a license. Quote, he has never had a license ever. And he has never had a license in any of the other 49 states or commonwealths that make up this country. Okay, that is the county district judge. His name is J. Cedric Simpson. Uh, quote, the way I know that he's never had a license is because on May 3rd, 1999, he was 19 at the time. He applied for his first Michigan ID. He has religiously every year gotten a new ID. And so he knows that he doesn't have a license. Now, let me break down the law. In Michigan, you're not allowed to have an, a state ID and a state license. So that, that was the point he was making, okay? All right, so the case against Harris stems from his arrest during a traffic stop in October, 2023. He was cited for driving with a suspended license. Court records indicate that Harris's license privileges 
were suspended in 2010. So suspended license, suspended license privileges is the difference or distinction between the two, okay? So uh, due to unpaid child support was the original underlying offense. When they suspended his license, they don't suspend the license, they suspend the privilege to drive in the state. Hence, if he had a Kentucky license, he would have been allowed to drive anywhere that Kentucky allowed him to drive. He just couldn't drive in Michigan because his privileges had been restricted in Michigan. Simpson explained, a judge lifted the suspension in 2022, but the lift never went into effect with the Secretary of State's office because Harris never paid a license clearance fee to the court, according to the judge. In his TV interview, Harris said he thought the clearance was taken care of already. He said he was never told he had to pay a fee two years ago and that he only recently received the clearance paperwork this year. However, he blamed the courts and the state for not correcting his paperwork. Simpson asserted that Harris's statements made it appear that the court uh, and state officials made errors that uh, compromised his record. And when Harris was the one who uh, was actually obligated to take the steps to get his license privileges back. Quote, his falsehoods and uh, misstatements are not going to fare him very well. The one thing I don't like is when people don't take responsibility for what they've done. Simpson said the person that needed to be blamed is the person that he was staring at in the mirror. Just own it. Once you own it, uh, becomes a whole lot earlier to move, uh, easier to move forward. All right. So um, I, I want to say this. I, I don't want to adjudicate the guy. He may have authentically been confused about the process. Seems to be quite bureaucratical to me. But I will say this, two things happened institutionally that should not have happened. Number one, when he had contact with the court, contact with law enforcement, especially when his bond was revoked temporarily, they should have told him, you have an active warrant in this jurisdiction. They got 25 to pick you up. They don't pick you up. Uh, you get to go home. But at least he would have had knowledge of it and not blindsided by this new appearance in court. Number two, I don't want to be critical of legal counsel, but I have to say this. Legal counsel should have absolutely did a background check on your driving record to be fully holistically prepared to give a proper defense if something else came up. Those two dynamics did not happen for you, sir, and they should have. All right, Harris's attorney, um, Ms. Webster Cox, who accompanied Harris for his WXYZ interview said, she was stunned when Simpson, Judge Simpson revealed that a client never owned a license. Quote, I hadn't done any research to go back. I didn't go back to 1999 to see about his Michigan State ID. All of that was shocking to me, absolutely shocking. It should not be. You're the representative, you're the advocate for this man. And it has become a high profile case. Come on now, all right? Let's reason together here. The man's gone through enough. State law dictates that a Michigan residents cannot own both state ID and a state license. There was no error by anybody, quote. There was no error by anybody. It was a failure on the part of Mr. Harris to do certain things, Simpson said. The attorney, West Cox, said she would work with her client to correct the issue. Quote, I just want him to have a license, Simpson said. Um, during the nearly 30-minute hearing, Simpson revealed that Harris also had a bench warrant for driving with a suspended license, so the bailiff escorted him to jail. Simpson said he would issue Harris a nominal bond the following day if he isn't released. Um, the attorney assured the judge that her client would do what it took to get his affairs in order and added he has a permit, uh, added that he has a permit test next week. Harris just paid the reinstatement fee last week, according to the judge. Harris's next court hearing is August 7th, according to Fox 2 Detroit. Now, damn it, August 7th, dear brother, you're going to have a license, brother. You can obviously drive, sir. <laughs> okay, because I don't say, I, no, nobody's talking about you got into a wreck or accident, hit somebody. So you can obviously operate a vehicle, and you do. So let's go ahead and get this license thing situated. <laughs> Senator, thoughts here. Yeah, I'm, I'm rooting for the brother, too. I think is a little bit of all the, the above. Bureaucracy can be very suffocating to yep. people who don't understand it and don't understand the law. And sometimes that's by design. That's number one. Yep. Number two, I never understood why states, even my state, 
uh, did this at one time. You suspending people's license for child support when they need to work. It doesn't right. make a whole lot of sense. So we need to find an yeah, doc. We need to find another way uh, to penalize people, or and or let's flip it to make sure that they're doing what is necessary to provide financial support for their children. Suspending their license and stopping them from being able to provide support. It's not one of them. It's just absolutely okay. asinine. And thirdly, Doc, in the era of AI, I would have just told the judge it was artificial intelligence. Judge. That's right. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. It was, me. It was AI. I'm, I'm shaggy. Wasn't me. <laughs>